Hey, this is Bruce. I want to say to apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, talented and anointed people in the body of Christ, singers and musicians, those that have the ability to affect people. The Lord is saying to you and to us, I'm included in this, that we have to make a decision. It's either celebrity or secret place. And we have to choose one. And the Lord says, but here's the thing. There's no celebrities in the secret place. Well, actually, that's not true. There's only one, but his name is Jesus. It's not Bruce. It's not George. It's not John. It's not Sally. The only celebrity in the secret place is Jesus. So you have to make a decision in this time and in this season, whether you're going to hang out with God in a secret place and hear his secrets. The Lord told me many years ago, he said, my people want to know my secrets, but they want me to yell them across the room. And I don't yell secrets across the room. You must come closer. And if you're going to come closer, that means you got to be willing to let go of stuff. I had a dream many years ago where I was walking with Jesus and we were going down, duh, a long, narrow road. And I was leaning on him. I had all my weight on him and he didn't mind. But every couple hundred feet as we walked, there was a package on my side of the road. And when we got to one of those little packages, he stopped and looked down at me and I had to make a decision without him ever saying one word to me. I knew that I needed to make a decision to keep walking with him or value the stuff over my relationship with him. And I believe that this is essential for us to understand as leaders in the body of Christ now today, that you have to make the decision over and over and over again. In that dream, I made the decision to keep walking with Jesus and we kept walking, but every couple hundred of feet I'm sorry, every couple hundred feet, um, there was a package on my side, only on my side. And when we got to that next package, he stopped and looked at me. And I understood when I woke up that for the rest of my life here in the earth, I would have to make the decision every so often to give my father a new yes. God is looking for new yeses today. You gave him that initial yes. You came into the kingdom. Maybe you even said yes and you started ministry. But God is looking for continual yeses in order for you and I to come to places. There is a new era. There's a new dimension that has been released in the body of Christ. And if you're going to be an effective part of it, there are new yeses that need to be given. So I encourage you. Hear the word of the Lord. I ain't nobody. I'm just who God's made me, who he's called me to be. He knows who I am, and I'm so comfortable with that. I don't know. I don't have no big platform, anything like that, but I can put something on video and drop it on, the, on, on, on social media and let it go to whoever will hear it. So I encourage you. The word of the Lord today is, number one, I'm requiring new yeses from you. Number two, there's no celebrities in the secret place. Only one, his name is Jesus. And so you have to make a decision whether you're going to establish his kingdom or whether you're going to build your own. Okay, so I love you. God bless you. Send this if you believe this is a word in due season and you believe it's a word from the Lord, then send it around to people so that folks can hear it. And certainly don't try to beat up your leadership with this word. That's not what this is about. This is a word from the Lord, and I believe it's to the body of Christ right now. And so I'm willing to put myself on the line and publish it. And I hope that you will treat it properly in Jesus name.